Hello, this is Dashwad Mithapali. Today we are going to see unit number 4 and this is of structure which consists of truss, cables and frames. What is truss? A truss consists of the member which lies in a single plane and force acting in the same plane is called as a plane, truss or frame. A truss is an assembly of members connected together by weld, riveted or bolted to form a rigid structure to resist applied loads. See, we have visited means we generally visit railway stations, we see bridges. So these are made up of steel structure as an option because those are lightweight and easy to construct but it requires skilled labors now the stress are perfect truss or stable truss how you will say perfect stress or stable truss see if it satisfies the equation m equals to 2j minus 3 then it is called a perfect truss now here what is m m is nothing but the number of members j is nothing but number of joints and 3 now here we are having truss generally it has two supports one is hinge and other is a roller so for hinge we are having two reactions one is horizontal and vertical and for roller we are having one normal reactions so those are three so actually the formula is m equals to 2j minus r so r reactions number of those are three now a simplest form of a perfect truss is a triangle a truss which does not collapse under the loading is called as a stable truss so if it satisfies the equation so you can see here member a b b c and c d c a sorry so these are three members and those are connected at the three joints a b and c so m number of members are three j number of joints three so m equals to three 2j minus r that is 2j minus three is again three so it is a perfect truss now what is imperfect truss if it does not satisfy the equation m equals to 2j minus r or 2j minus 3 it is called imperfect truss now again imperfect truss is classified into two forms that is deficient truss and redundant truss now suppose an imperfect truss in which the number of member is less than 2j minus 3 then that truss is called deficient imperfect truss now here if suppose number of members that is smaller than required for perfect truss that is m smaller than 2j minus r so here a uh, example is given so which has four members and four joints okay so if you replace in the formula m so number of members are four joints are again four so 2j minus r 2 into 4 minus 3 so 8 minus 3 it becomes 5 so 4 number of members are less than required for the perfect truss but here 2j minus r that are 5 so it is a deficient imperfect truss now what is redundant truss an imperfect truss in which the number of member is greater than 2j minus 3 now here example is given so you can see here number of members are 6 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 that is a b b c c d d a a c and d b those are number of members and number of joints are 4 joint a joint b joint c and joint D. so if you replace in the formula 6 is 
greater than 2j minus r that is 6 is greater than 5 so number of members are more so it is also a redundant truss see perfect truss is when when it satisfies the equation m equals to 2j minus r now assumptions in the analysis of truss see basically we have to find forces in the members the forces may be compressive or the forces may be tensile in the member how it is we will see so first of all we will see the assumptions in the analysis of a truss the truss should be a perfect truss the loads are applied only at the joints or nodal points of a truss all the joints are assumed as pin joints each member is subjected to only axial force these forces may be tensile or compressive the weight of the members are neglected so those were the presumption uh, assumptions now next is principles for zero force members if two forces act at a point then for the equilibrium of the joint these two forces should act along the same straight line the forces will be equal and opposite if the two forces acting at a joint are not in a straight line then for the equilibrium of the joint each forces must be zero second one if three forces act at a point two of them are along the same straight line then for equilibrium the third force must be equal to zero now nature of the force so the, there are two natures one may be tensile or other may be compressive suppose if you pull an member by the external force obviously it will be its length will increase so in short what it means because of the tensile force its length is increased similarly if you compress an object what will happen its length will decrease so it will be because of the compressive force so here you can see the tensile stress of force induced in a member is shown by the arrow heads away from the joints that is tensile you can look in the figure similarly fine similarly a compressive force compressive stress or force induced in the member is shown by an arrow head towards the joint so you can see a force towards the joint and internal resistance offered by the member that is r so these are in equilibrium the equations are zero now for analysis of the truss there are three methods first is method of joint second method is method of section and third method is graphical method so today we will see method of joint and method of section graphical method is not there for you in theory exam okay so first method we will see method of joint so first of all for method of joints we are having few assumptions okay it is an analytical method of determining the force in various members of the truss by considering the equilibrium of individual joints one at a time individual joint one at a time suppose we have seen a example of triangle okay so there are three members three joints so joint a joint b joint c if you separate joint a that becomes a method of joint for joint a if you separate joint b then it becomes method of section for joint b and similarly method of section for joint method of joint for third joint now this method is generally used when the force in all members of the truss are required to be found this method is generally used when the forces in all members of the truss are required to be found next point when the truss is in equilibrium every joint 
and every member of the truss is in equilibrium at each joint forces are forming a system of concurrent force and hence two equations of equilibrium are available that is summation fx equals to 0 and summation fy equals to 0 see for concurrent forces that is all forces acting at a point we use only two equations of equilibrium using these two equations forces are found at each joint as only two equations are available at a joint first consider a joint with two unknowns and then other joints are considered successively so here you can see a space diagram which has three members and three joints so joint one and the members connected to it joint two and the members connected to it and joint three and the members connected to it so like this you have to separate each and every joint and you have to calculate the forces in the members now method of joint steps to solve first step is draw free body diagram of the whole truss and find support reactions using three equations of equilibrium that is summation fx equals to 0 summation fy equals to 0 and summation m equals to 0 this is the first step second step find the joint where there are two unknown members draw free body diagram of the joint and using the equations of equilibrium that is summation fx and summation fy equals to 0 determine the forces in the member see first is what finding the support reactions so joint a and joint two, 2 has the support so there first of all you have to find those support reactions by using equations of equilibrium second step is what to separate the joint but while separating the joint you have to see that only two members are unknown in that joint then only you can use the method of joint fourth step next consider another joint again where there are two unknowns draw free body diagram and find the forces writing equations of equilibrium repeat the procedure until the forces in all the members of the truss have been found sixth one check can be applied at the last joint by writing summation fx summation f equals to zero show the magnitude and nature of all the forces in the member of a truss in a tabular form member so member a b force whatever force in it is nature that may be compressive or tensile so we will start with the numericals so first numerical by using method of joint so what is given find the forces in all the members indicating whether the forces the force is compressive or tensile so you can see over here a figure is given to you okay which has two supports support a that is hinge support support d that is roller support and two external forces are acting at b one horizontal force of 500 newton and at c a vertical force of 500 newton so first step is what to draw free body diagram by separating the supports so you can look here so here a hinge support replaced by two forces ax and ay support d roller support so separated by a vertical force rd and as it is the external forces are shown now what we know the member ab bd ac and cd bc now these are the members in this uh, truss we have to find forces in these members so similarly you have to also find the angles also because if the member is inclined so you have to find the angle and you have to resolve that member 
in terms of components that is along x direction and y direction so here angle is found that is tan alpha 1.5 divided by 2 so you can see here angle alpha so next step now for support reactions using equations of equilibrium see here we have to find support reactions ax ay and rd so what i will do i will use equations of equilibrium that is equation for the whole truss summation fx equals to zero so summation fx ax is a horizontal force which is moving in a positive x direction plus 500 which is equal to zero so ax is nothing but minus 500 so minus 500 indicates what it is not in the assumed direction but it is in the opposite direction keep it like that only next use equation summation f y equals to zero use summation of all vertical forces so a y minus 500 a y positive and minus 500 as it is moving downward so you will plus rd so rd where it is so here rd so ay plus rd equals to 500 now ay and rd we don't know so take moment about a or you can take moment about d now i will take moment about a what will happen ay is passing from the same point ax is also passing from the same point so if i take moment about a which forces remain so one force is here sorry so this force this force and rd so 500 so taking moment about a minus 500 into 2 minus 500 into 1.5 plus rd into 4 so here we will get value of rd that is 437.5 so when you replace in the equation 1 you will get value of ay now we got support reactions ax ay and rd now so first step is complete that is by using equations of equilibrium we have found the support reaction now second step is what consider a joint such that it has only two unknowns now here you can consider any joint joint a where ax ay we are knowing we don't know value of a b and ac so you can consider this joint similarly you can consider joint d also or you can consider joint c also now here you cannot consider C because there are three members and we don't know values of those three members. You cannot consider B joint also because here member AB, BD and AC is unknown to us. Okay, so one more thing. Initially assume that all the forces are tensile or you can consider all the members as compressive that depends on you but the force the forces away from the joint if we get positive answers of our assumption means whatever we assume so here if you consider tensile force and your answer is negative that means what your assumption is wrong it is not tensile but it is in compression so first joint I will consider joint A so where is the joint A so this is joint 
A. I will separate that joint. Here. So, I have considered AX. That was negative answer. So, shown by changing its direction. AY was positive. Show it like that only. So, force in member AB, force in member AC. I have considered all the forces are tensile. So, use equations of equilibrium. So, it's a concurrent force system. So, you can use two equations of equilibrium. Summation Fx equals to 0. Summation Fy equals to 0. Now, member AB is inclined. So, initially we have found the angle alpha. That was how much? 36.87. Resolve that member into components along x direction and y direction so when you go for summation fx equals to 0 ok for joint A so 500 towards negative direction minus plus 5 fb cos 36.87 plus f ac which is equal to 0 so here we get a equation 0.8 fb plus f ac equals to 500 that is second equation now go for summation f y equals to 0 so summation f y equals to 0 so f a b sin 36 point c means what so this is inclined force so we have to resolve it into two components ok so for summation f y vertical force f a b sin 36.87 plus 62.5 that is Ay so here you get value of FAB that is minus 104.17 so replace that value in equation number 2 ok you can see here so when you replace that value you will get value of FAC that is 583.33 so you got now value of FAB and you got value of F AC now go for next joint where you have only two members unknown now I have taken joint B same thing so joint B where it is so joint B is here ok so draw its free body diagram so resolve the members Similarly, resolve these members also. Okay, go for summation fx. So you will get an equation. So FBD that is minus 729.17. Similarly, go for summation Fy of the vertical forces. So here also you get an equation where you get value of F B C. Okay. So next, consider free body diagram of joint D. Where is joint D? So this is nothing but joint D. So draw free body diagram of joint D. Same thing again resolve the forces inclined forces go for summation fx summation fy so when you go for summation fx you will get f dc and when you go for summation fy there you are getting zero because you already got the value of f see fbd we already found in the previous one so now make a table where you will show members force and nature so whatever negative answers you got you just change the nature so initially we have considered all the forces as tensile so first one we got negative 104 so we have converted to compressive force and made it positive similarly FBD we got negative 729 we have converted to positive and we have changed its nature so like this you have to consider each and every joint separately and you have to find the forces in the member and you have to make a tabular format and show these members 
so this completes your first numerical now we will move to the second numerical now this is a also a truss now this is a cantilever truss find the forces in all the members indicating whether the force is compressive or tensile now what we know first step is what to find the support reaction so for support reactions you have to just see the supports and you have to replace the supports by reactions so support a is a hinge support support b is a roller support so find the support reactions and draw free body diagram first so you can see here a free body diagram is drawn for cantilever truss we can start analysis from free end or you can find first of all reactions so here we will consider from the free end if you are considering from the supports you have to find the support reactions by using equations of equations equilibrium now if i consider the free end d okay draw free body diagram of free end d so consider all the forces in the member as tensile forces so show the arrows away from the joint means away from the joint away from the joint so it is shown over here its free body diagram use equations of equilibrium summation fx equals to 0 for joint d so summation fx equals to 0 minus fdc minus fde cos 36.87 equals to 0 so here you get value of fdc equals to point 8f d e keep it like that we go for second equation of equilibrium summation f y equals to 0 now here f d e sin 36.87 minus 2 equals to 0 so here you get value of f d e once you get value of f d e replace in equation 1 you will get value of f d c ok so here you got value of f d e so when you replace it in this equation you will get value of f d c now next consider the joint such that it has not more than two vanals now next joint we will consider joint c where is joint c so joint c is over here now here how many members connected c d cb and ce here we know value of cd that is how much f dc that is 2.67 so only unknown members are ce and cb so you can consider that joint joint c so same thing go for equations of equilibrium summation fx equals to 0 for joint c so you get equations like this minus f cd moving to the negative side plus fcd to the positive side so you will get value of f cb here so once you get that go for second equation of equilibrium summation f4 equals to 0 so f c going upwards or positive minus 2 moving downwards or negative so you will get value of f c e so you got both the values that is f cb and f c e go for next joint free body diagram of joint E where is joint E joint E is over here we are knowing the value of ED we are knowing value of CE so only remains what force in member AE and force in member BE so these two are unknown so you can take the next joint as E joint so draw free body diagram of E joint go for summation fx resolve the inclined forces ok
okay then go for summation fx and summation fy so you can see the equations we get equation number two that is fea plus feb which is equal to 3.33 and when you go for summation fy you get the equation fea minus feb equals to 6.67 so solving two equations that is two equations two unknowns you get value of fea is for you and feb is minus 1.67 so last joint consider joint B so where is joint B so joint B is over here as we don't know value of force in member AB we know value of force in member BC BE but we don't know the force in member AB so last joint you can consider joint A or you can consider joint B now here we have considered joint B so draw free body diagram of joint B resolve the forces inclined forces and go for summation fx and summation fy so vertical member is FBA so we have taken summation fy so we get value of FBA as 1 kN so again at the last step you have to draw a force table and you have to show the forces in the member now initially what we did we consider all the forces in the member as tensile so where you got the negative answer just change its nature that is so f b c was minus 2.67 i have made it positive and we have changed its nature similarly for f c b also we have changed its nature and similarly for f b e we have changed its nature now coming to the next problem problem number three truss consisting of seven members each of three meter length freely supported at its ends points as shown in figure the truss is loaded at b and c find the forces in all the members indicating whether the force is compressive or tensile so directly they have shown supports ra rd so you have to find those supports support reactions and you have to find forces in all the members so for this you have to use method of joint so before that first step is what drawing free body diagram so draw free body diagram find reactions at ra and rd by using equations of equilibrium second step is to consider each joint separately but while considering each joint you have to see in each joint there should not be more than two members unknown so directly you cannot consider joint B because it consists of three members similarly you cannot consider directly joint C because it also contains three members unknown similarly you cannot consider joint E also because it contains three members unknown so you have to start with joint a because it has two members unknown or you can start with joint d so you can solve this i have given free means i have drawn free body diagrams for this so you can consider joint a first after the joint d after that joint b and after the joint c one more for you so you can solve it so similarly determine the forces in the members of the truss by method of joint so you can see a cantilever truss is again given over here so first step is what to see whenever you are having cantilever truss you can find the reactions and you can continue or you can start with the free end so free body diagrams are given to you so you can consider joint B first where we are having two members are known you can consider so I have shown the free body diagrams you can see free body diagram of joint D free body diagram of joint A and free body diagram of joint B just try this similarly one more for you so you can solve it 
so here you can see this vertical force is not there so you can see a figure a hinge at joint C a roller support at joint D so if you draw its free body diagram so two reaction one reaction over here so refer this figure as a free body diagram so these forces you just try and whether check it is correct or not okay you can consider the joint separately while considering the joint see how to see that the joint which you consider it should not contain more than two members unknown now moving to the next method method of section see for you in exam it may be asked to you solve by method of joint or it may be asked to you to solve by method of section or sometimes they may not specify by which method you have to solve so in that case you can solve by both the methods now next method of section this method is most convenient and effective efficient to find forces in any one member or few members are required to be found in this method we consider equilibrium of portion of the truss by cutting the truss across the members in which the forces are required to be found by a section line by considering equilibrium of either left hand side portion or right hand side portion of the truss to the section line and writing three equations of equilibrium summation fx summation fy and summation m equals to zero we can find the forces in the members this method often provides a shortcut in determining the force in certain member of a truss now what is difference in these two methods now method of joint can be used when all the member forces have to be found but if a truss is there and only few members forces we want to find then the convenient method is method of section so how to solve this we will see by using this method now you can see the same triangle which was used initially so you can see section 1 1 section 2 2 so first what I will do I will consider section 1 1 so when you consider section 1 1 you can cut by passing the section line and you are here free to consider left hand side of the section or right hand side of the section so at the left hand side of the section we are having joint B and at the right end of the section we are having joint A and joint C so that is a part that is left hand side and right hand side similarly you can see right part of section line 1 1 now method of section steps to solve draw free body diagram of the whole truss and determine the support reactions either on left side or on right side see same step is there first step to find support reactions by using equations of equilibrium after that pass a section line across maximum three members out of which at least one member is desired member see you can pass a section line maximum members should be three which are unknown more than three members if you are passing the section line you will not get the answer section line you have to pass such that it should cut only three members not more than that draw free diagram of either left hand side or right side of portion of truss consider equilibrium of portion of the truss and write three equations of equilibrium force in the desired member can be found so first step
an alternate approach is to write a single equation which can be solved for the force in desired member for this first observe whether the force forces exerted by other two members are parallel or the line of action intersects if these forces are parallel they can be eliminated by writing the equations equilibrium equations involving components in the direction perpendicular to these two forces if these two forces are horizontal we can write summation fx equals to 0 and vice versa similarly if their line of section intersect at a point they can be eliminated by writing an equilibrium equation summation m equals to 0 at that joint okay i will tell you what is difference between a and b c when you consider a s or pass a section line okay now i may consider left and or right side of the portion so this is left side and this is right side of the portion now if i consider a left side so how many forces are there r1 member ba and member bc so for that i can consider summation fx equals to 0 summation fy equals to 0 or i can consider summation m about joint c to find r1 ba and bc how it is we will see now method of section steps to solve always the truss is to be cut into two portions completely partial cutting is not allowed in case of cantilever truss having joint with two members unknown members unknown force then no need to find support reaction see in cantilevers you can find reactions or if you ignore that then also it's fine but keep habit of finding support reactions for cantilever also first numerical determine the forces in members fe fc bc of the truss using method of section and state if the member are in tension or completion as shown in figure so where are these members fe fe is at the top fc is at the that is inclined force so which are these two members fe fc and bc now here you can use method of section if you use method of joint you cannot directly find these members so for that you have to go with joint a after that joint b after that joint f and so on that's a lengthy process so method of section is quite easy than that so in this method how we go with so first step is what show support reactions depending in the type of the supports and find angles of the members from given geometry so this one supports So find the required angle that is angle which is over here alpha so it can be same angle is over here and same angle is over here also so this angle alpha as its lengths are same so for support reactions using equations of equilibrium so for equilibrium of whole truss summation m a equals to 0 so which forces are there so we have considered left portion of the section ok summation m a equals to zero so this how it is rotating clockwise
नेक्स्ट फॉर सपोर्ट रिएक्शंस यूज इक्वेशंस ऑफ इक्विलिब्रियम फॉर इक्विलिब्रियम ऑफ वोल्टर्स समेशन एम इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो इफ यू टेक समेशन ऑफ फोर्सेस अबाउट ए सो माइनस दिस वन दिस वन एंड दिस वन सो यू गेट वैल्यू ऑफ आर डी ओके कंसिडर फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम ऑफ राइट हैंड साइड पोर्शन ऑफ द ट्रस सो दैट इज बाय पासिंग अ सेक्शन लाइन फ्रॉम द थ्री मेंबर्स विच वी हैव टू फाइंड सो इट इज शोन इन द फिगर ओवर हियर ओके so i separated this one i have got a value of rd when i took movement about a okay force in member force in member and force in member so similarly that alpha angle is over here also so for equilibrium of portion of the truss first i will take moment about f what will happen if i take moment about f where is f so f is over here see you can consider left hand side or right hand side of the portion and you can take moment about any point so i will take moment about f first but i will consider the right side of the section when i am taking moment about f which forces are passing from f so f is somewhere over here hmm okay so which forces are passing from f f f c f f e and f b c is not passing and this force and this force these are the external forces internal forces are f f e F F C and F B C. So if I am taking moment about F, so six point six six how it is rotating clockwise. How this is rotating anti-clockwise and how this force is rotating clockwise. So which is shown over here. So summation of moment about F equals to zero. So minus F B C into three. so this is f b c into 3 6.67 into 3 minus r d into how much into 6 so you can look over here which is equal to 0 so here you get value of f b c i got value of f b c now next i will go for Summation f y equals to zero and summation f x equals to zero. Now here I am taking summation of moment about y. Sorry, that is not summation of moment. That is summation of forces about y direction, which is equal to zero. So the joint is where. So So we have considered which portion? We have considered the right portion of the section. So for that much only, we have to consider equations of equilibrium. Here, considering summation f y equals to zero for these forces only. So which are the vertical force? One. C six point six seven vertically downward, five point one eight vertically upward. If you resolve this force into the component, one is like this and one is like this. So vertical force F F C sine forty five minus six point six six plus five point one eight. Is there another force? No. So you can look here. 
So I'm just going to fy. So here will get value of f, f c. Similarly, go for summation f x for the right hand portion of the section line. So same thing, go to go summation of the horizontal forces in this. So horizontal is f b c. Horizontal component of this force. Horizontal force is f f e. That is only these three are there. Just you can check here these three. So here we know value of FFC and FBC. You replace over there, we'll get value of FFC. So like this, we got forces in all the members. Okay. So which are shown in the table. That's it. So method of section is quite easy but the thing is you should have a proper practice where which members we want to find and where you have to take movement and where you have to take summation of the forces. So next example. Truss is supported and loaded as shown in the figure. Determine the forces in the members F that is member B E sorry bc ce and cd where is bc ce and cd okay these three members you have to consider or calculate the forces now here first thing is what this is a cantilever truss you can consider left side or you can start with the free end now we want to find forces in which members bc ce and cd so how you will take the section lines see so two section lines you can take to find member cd and ce you can consider a, like this a section line and to find value of BC, you can pass a section line 2 to also. Okay, free body diagram of right hand side portion of section 1 1. Just draw free body diagram. See, same thing you have to consider all the forces in tension. Now what is main point over here, you have to consider only the members which are cut by the section line. Now here which members are cut by the section line? DC, EC and EB. So those three members are shown over here. And all forces we are considering tensile initially. So draw free body diagram of the right hand side portion. So like this a free body diagram is drawn. Now resolve the forces into components. Now first step we want to find so first we are taking summation of movement about E. Where is E point? So E point is over here. So when I take moment about E, which forces are passing from me? This force is passing from me and this force is passing from E. So these two forces will not come. I will get direct value of F C D. Okay. So how this force is rotating? Anticlockwise. How this force is rotating? clockwise how this force is rotating clockwise now here in this example I have considered clockwise as negative and anti-clockwise as positive 
that's why we are getting the signs over here like that only but the values will be same no problem you can consider clockwise positive and anti-clockwise as negative then also you'll get the same answer so once i got value of fcd i will use equations of equilibrium that is summation fo equals to zero so for the join so for the forces which are right hand side of the section line so minus six moving downward fce negative direction minus three equals to zero so here i will get value of f c e so free body diagram of right hand side of portion section line 2 2 so go for summation f y equals to 0 see i want to find which member now i want to find only member f c b now ok i know value of f c d i know value of f c e i only want now value of f c b so that is a vertical force so if i take summation f y i may get the value so i am going with right hand side portion of the section 2 2 ok I will show the members which are cut by the section line so the section was something like this okay. so if you take summation fy minus 6 downward minus fce sin 45 downward minus fce and minus 3 sorry this is not ce actually this is fcb okay and that minus 3 equals to 0 So here you will get value of FCB, it comes 0. So that thing you can show in the tabular format, and that's it. So like this by using method of section you have to solve. See in method of section you have to show only the members which are cut by the section line. And after that you can consider left or right portion of the section line. For that you can use summation M summation fx summation fy depending on the which forces you want to find or you can take three times movement also no problem so few numericals for practice a plane is loaded a printer is loaded and supported as shown in the figure determine the nature and magnitude of the forces in the members one Two and three so you can see here members one two and three solved by method of section so section one one you can pass like this okay so you can consider left or right side of the portion only shown the members which are cut use the same method first you have to find the support reactions and you can proceed with the right or left side similarly this is for you only for practice so a truss hinged at A and supported on roller at B is loaded as shown in the figure find the forces in the members BC FC and fe so you can pass a section line 1 1 which passes through three of the members you can consider left or right side of the portion 
and you can solve so first step is common for both the methods you have to find support reactions if only the cantilever truss is there no need to find the support reactions you can consider from the free end only thank you